Foucault Pendulum. The Foucault Pendulum uh, has been introduced by uh, Léon Foucault to evidence the Earth's rotation. So we have a long uh, heavy pendulum as this one that oscillates on a vertical plane, so the oscillation plane, and we observe that uh, this uh, vertical plane will rotate along the z-axis. So of course it takes time and after several hours the, the plane will uh, change significantly. The goal of this exercise is to compute uh, the period of the oscillation plane which rotates along the z-axis. So, so for this, uh, for the first question, we consider a car as the red car represented here, which drives on a circular road, such as represented here, with center C and radius R. And uh, attached to this car, we have uh, the pendulum, without any friction. And we assume also that uh, we have a, a good initialization, so that the oscillation uh, plane remains vertical. We assume also that uh, the speed of the car is very small or equivalently that uh, r is huge so the ratio r divided by v is large enough so that the oscillation plane remains continuously vertical so of course uh, the road is total is uh, in a flat plane so that there is no possibility for the uh, for the pendulum uh, to move uh, uh, left and right Okay, uh, with respect to the oscillation plane. The, what we have to do here is to give an, ex, uh, an expression for the period TP of the oscillation plane. Indeed, we understand that uh, if, uh, uh, for instance, the car starts here, and if the oscillation plane is like this, for instance, uh, then uh, the when the car will turn like this, the orientation of the oscillation plane will remain always the same. Since the car turns left, then the oscillation plane from uh, the car frame will rotate left, like this. The period of oscillation will correspond to Tp equal to 2 pi multiplied by r, the radius of the circle, divided by the speed v, which corresponds to the time needed for the car to complete one lap. Question number two. We consider a non-rotating Earth, so static, with a radius r0, with our car uh, still moving at a speed equal to v. So the, the pendulum is still oscillating and if uh, the car goes slowly, the oscillation planes remain vertical in the car frame. So if uh, the car goes straight, such as represented by the green trajectory here, then uh, the car follows a geodesic and the oscillation plane remains static in the car frame. Now we are interested by a situation where the car is driving east uh, along a parallel, such as represented by the red trajectory. So in, uh, when we are in the north hemisphere, then the, the car has to turn left so to, in order to remain on uh, the same parallel. If we are in the south hemisphere, then it is the contrary. We have will have to turn right to stay on the parallel. Now, what we want to do is to compute the rotation rate of the pendulum oscillation plane with respect to the speed v of the car and to the latitude theta. We have here a three-dimensional representation. We can see here the green trajectory the car goes straight and the pendulum remains in the same position in the car frame. 
if we want to stay on the same parallel, then the car which goes at speed v has to turn left because we are in the north hemisphere. Okay. And here in black we have the equator. The corresponding Python Python code is given here. Okay. So to compute uh, the oscillation uh, uh, rate, rotation rate of the car, uh, we consider here uh, the car following a parallel, and if since we are at the latitude theta, so theta corresponds to this angle, I take one position for example this one and I represent in a corresponding plane in a cut I have my car which is here so I can see that my car is turning uh, around one circle and the radius of this circle corresponds to r0 the radius of the, of the earth multiplied by cosinus theta the latitude as represented here. Uh, we have uh, uh, the car which rotates um, uh, vertically due, due to the fact that the Earth is uh, uh, a sphere. Uh, vertically it will turn around O and horizontally it will rotate um, around C. R here corresponds to the radius of uh, uh, the horizontal curvature. So I have R equal R0 multiplied by cosinus theta divided by sine theta. So the rotation rate horizontally will correspond to the rotation rate of uh, the oscillation plane of the pendulum will be omega p equal v divided by r. We assume now in the question number three that the earth is not anymore static but uh, rotates and uh, the period is uh, 24 hours. But now the car is static. So, of course, the situation is equivalent to the previous question. It's uh, just a different point of view. Uh, and uh, the, the car is static with respect to the Earth, but move uh, is still moving with the Earth with uh, respect to an initial frame. The car always encloses a pendulum uh, as previously. Now we have to use the previous question to compute the period TP of the oscillation plane. Oh, question number three, like this. Uh, we have uh, the speed V of the car, which turns with the Earth, which is equal to V equal 2 pi multiply by r0 cos theta, so this one. This corresponds to the circumference of uh, uh, the parallel divided by the period of the Earth, Te, which corresponds to 24 hours. Okay. Now the vertical plane with the pendulum oscillating this car, attach here, oscillating like this. In a vertical plane, we have Tp equal to 2pr divided by v, so like this, and which is equal to 2 pi, so r here is R0 multiplied by cos theta divided by sin theta 
as proven here. Multiply by 1 divided by V, so this quantity, and here I have TE divided by 2 pi R0 cos theta. We have some simplification. This one by this one, 2 pi, 2 pi, R0, R0, and it remains TE divided by sine theta. So it means that if I have my Foucault pendulum as shown in the video with the experiment, the room in the equator where theta equals zero, this formula tells me that P TP equals plus infinity, it means that the oscillation plane will not move. The period is minimal when theta equals zero, it means that I am in the north or in the south pole. Then the uh, period of uh, the uh, oscillation plane will correspond to the period of rotation of the Earth.